Hi! Alright, welcome to another Bible study with um, Shine Channel. I'm Lindsay, and today we're going to be learning more about Jesus. Um, so, today we're actually going to be learning about, we're going to be discussing why we should believe in Jesus. And this is really um, an interesting topic because there's many reasons to believe in Jesus, but it's really easy at the same time to question why we should really believe in Jesus since especially if we come from a different um, religious background or we were taught um, you know different as we grew up and um, nowadays you know it's really easy for people to not want to talk about religion um, or you know anything that has to do with God and a lot of a lot of younger generations are um, I mean I am you know part of the millennial so a lot of the young generation now are not really being taught about um, about God a lot in fact it's kind of getting rejected more um, so and this was you know supposed to happen I mean Jesus is actually taught in the Bible to be um, someone that the world rejects so it's not it's not um, it's not supposed to be a strange thing that of course the world doesn't want to accept um, <clears throat> you know the truth that's presented to us through the Bible that Jesus came to teach us about um, but it's so important that we share the truth with everybody so everybody has a chance to know and choose if they would like to um, believe in Jesus and live an eternal life. So here are just a few reasons why um, we should believe in Jesus. So why should you make, first of all, why should you believe that Jesus, you know, was real and existed and why would you secondly want to believe to make him your savior um like what does that have to do with you and how can that change your life okay so um of course i'm sure you've probably heard a lot of people discussing the proof of god's existence um i just want to kind of go over my thoughts on that because it's really hard for me to believe that all these amazing, this amazing universe and us as, you know, humans, you know, our amazing minds and our lives, our lives and the, the history we make, you know, the, the development we make as, you know, humans interacting, creating a better world. And then all the amazing nature and just things around us that even, you know, it takes years for scientists to study and discover and, and un even understand. It's pretty amazing. And it's really hard for me to believe, of course, that it just came to be, you know. There has to be some creator behind it. Yes, I do believe that. But it's also really hard for me to believe that it's in vain. Like, that all this amazing... Everything that we know, it just is to go to waste. You know, that we just die and nothing happens after that. Um, or that we're just victims of an of a unfair world and that we just live to die. There has to be a meaning behind everything. Um, more that meets the eye. And it's especially because there's so much that we don't understand. And, and so much, especially cruel, cruelness that goes on and unfair unjustness in the world. It's not a perfect world. Why do we go through it if it's for in vain? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, good things come out of really bad things, but there has to be more than that, you know. Nobody deserves to 
go through these the suffering that the world does even nature itself the earth itself doesn't deserve to be treated as it has been we're supposed to take care of our universe you know so there has to be more of a meaning behind it and um so it's just really hard for me to believe that there's not so of course it's you know and and in saying that there that's one reason i guess a lot of people really take you know religion seriously or feel like they need to belong to a faith um but if you read the bible and you get to know god um it really starts making sense in fact everything makes sense and it's you really start seeing the bigger picture to everything so i mean it's not just about oh everybody has their own opinion or their truth or or it seems like this way we all walk different paths but it all comes together into one actual meaning and one actual truth and one actual big picture like it's not all just random it's not we all come together as one and you actually find that to be true when you read the bible and you get to know god and his purpose now god never meant for us to die it wasn't his will um, and how do we know this? Because in Genesis, you know, he warned Adam and Eve to not eat of the tree of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil because the day that they did that, they would die. So he was actually protecting them from dying. Um, and so he never wanted us to die. In fact, one of the first commandments he even gave Adam and Eve were to reproduce so we're supposed to continue to live and make more of us <laughs> so it's not God's will to die also you can look at Revelation and it talks about Jesus getting conquering death and and destroying death for once and for all so we know contrary to what people have taught us um, or what religion or even what you know um, the world has taught us that God actually doesn't like suffering and he doesn't like death and in another video I'll explain how it all how, how it all got to be this way but we do need to understand that was not God's intention was for us to die he wanted us to not die that's why he warned Adam and Eve so again there has to be more than just this amazing world and us as amazing creatures exist in in and you know make history and make amazing things and, and do these amazing things and there has to be more to that than just us dying and moving on so um let's go ahead and read matthew 5 1 through 12 because here we'll get to really understand um we'll really get to understand why we should have a spiritual interaction you know and, and again like I, I mentioned before a lot of people have religion and beliefs because of what I'm discussing like it gives us hope you know whatever but there there is so much more um, there's so such a more deeper reward that you gain when you do have a spiritual connection and you you walk more in the spirit than just the physical and what we see every day that obviously um, perishes you know there's more in the spirit realm and that actually is eternal and there is life beyond death and so it's very important that we know about the spirit our spirit in our spiritual um our spiritual walk with god and our need for him in our life right okay so go ahead and if you have your bible we're going to go to matthew chapter 5 and we're going to read 1 through 12. all right so <clears throat> says and seeing the multitudes he went up on a mountain they're talking about jesus and he he was seated 
and his disciples came to him. Then he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, <clears throat> for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecute the prophets who were before you. So the reason I brought this scripture up is because you really see it in verse 12 where, he, where Jesus is telling us your reward is in heaven. So, and all these things that it's saying, blessed are those who, you know, and it's, it's like a negative thing like poor or in spirit or mourn or meek. But then it's like, but the, the kingdom shall be theirs or they shall be comforted. These are all things that are done through spirit. All the rewards are through spirit the spirit um so when we don't have jesus in our life um you know or when we don't have hope in general it's so easy for us to look at life like why does this happen and and like i said before feel victim to it and not understand and not understand how anything can get better. But when we realize that our reward isn't here in this physical world, it's actually in the spirit. So through Jesus and, you know, getting to be with Jesus forever um, in our afterlife, that's our reward. And all the goodness, all those good things will um, just overcome and overwhelm all the bad that has happened. So, it is so important for us to have a relationship with Jesus because it's more than just a religion or a belief, you know, like, and I say religion, and when I say that, I mean, like, what people treat religion as, which is, um, a belief system and you know things that you do like go to church it's so much more than a religion and this is gonna sound funny but to me it's even more than just a lifestyle because it's actually it's actually it's not a lifestyle it is your actual life like we had discussed before, when, once you make Jesus your Savior, you, you come into new life. So it's not a lifestyle that you're just adding on to this life. It's you're actually living a new life. So, um, and then of course, it's more than just religion because you're, you don't have to worry about what happens now. Why do these bad things happen? Or we just die? You know, is that just the end of it? No, there's so much more greater things that happen and that are awaiting you in the kingdom of God. And the way to get there is through Jesus. And even in our life now here on earth, he blesses us. He said he doesn't leave us alone. He gives us Holy Spirit and he gives us each other, you know, brothers and sisters in Christ. And so... Even here on earth, we have a reward. And we have that, you know, we can see that beautiful reward because we're seeing through our spiritual eyes, in our heart, a spiritual heart, 
you know, we're understanding it with our spiritual minds. We, we're looking beyond what we see here in this physical earth and seeing into the spirit, the spirit realm, and Jesus. So, yeah, it again, rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. So, it, once you make Jesus your Savior, you become part of, you know that you have hope beyond this world and death. So that's one amazing reason why you should believe in Jesus, because you will have that rewarding eternal life in God's kingdom. Um, I'm going to continue on part two, so please check out part two of why we should believe in Jesus. Thank you.